Since its first release for the iPad 4 and iPod Touch 4th generation, the iMovie app has been updated to support its use on the iPad 2 as well. Unfortunately, this version isn't supported on the first version of iPad. There are some great new features that take advantage of the iPad 2's large screen and all for the same low price. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a project in the iMovie app. Once you've launched the iMovie application on your iPad 2, the marquee window will open. This is where you can create, browse, play, and open your iMovie projects. To create a project, tap the plus button. We'll go over how to add media to your project in more depth in a later lesson, but in order to give our new project a name, you have to add at least one piece of media to your timeline. You can see three options for the import at the bottom. Video, Photos, and Audio. Let's tap on the Video icon and choose a video clip by tapping on it, and then tapping on the blue Add arrow. Now, let's tap on the Projects button to go back to the Marquee view. You should now see a thumbnail of the video that you just added that represents your new project. Tap once where it says My Project in the Marquee. Tap on the X to the right to delete the current text, and then type in a name for your project. Tap Done when you're finished. You can see the date that your project was created, as well as the current duration. Now tap on your project thumbnail to open it again. Tap the gear icon on the top right corner to define your project settings. At the top of the project settings window, you'll see a series of theme options to choose from. A theme is a predetermined set of titles and transitions that are automatically applied to your movie. By default, iMovie applies the modern theme, but you can choose any theme you'd like. If you don't like the theme, don't worry, you can come back to adjust your theme settings at any time. Below the theme options, you can choose to have your particular theme's music on or off. You can turn looping on or off. Turning looping on means that your music will repeat for the length of your movie. Turning it off means the music will play through only once, regardless of your movie's length. And finally, you can choose to add a fade in from black at the beginning, or a fade out to black at the end. Again, you can change these settings at any time by tapping on the gear icon. In the next lesson, we're going to take a closer look at the basic iMovie interface.